My people, it's Buddy Tack. Today we're going to take a look at an airsoft pistol. This is the SIG P320 X Carry made by Proforce. So I've been looking for a new airsoft pistol. I have the HK VP9 version made by Umarex, and that's a good gun. I do like it. And I was looking at the original SIG 320, like the military version they have, but I really wanted like the one I have in real life. And they finally came out with it, so I jumped on this thing. So retail is about 170. If you get the package that I got with the red dot, it's about $228. We'll go over some of the technical specs. Oh, it's got it on the back, actually. So you can just read it for yourself down there. Uh, FPS says 320. That's going to vary depending on BB weight. So what do we got? Barrel length, 3.9. That's a tiny bit longer than the real one. It's uh, 3.6. Overall length, 7.6. And the weight is 1.5 pounds. And we'll see about that. So let's check this thing out, Jack. Here it is right here, looking good, except for that, gay. I'm gonna paint it like I did on the last one. It does spin, so it's almost like you could take it off. I don't know, I don't wanna mess up the inner barrel too. So there's a look at it. The only thing I don't like about this, that's not like my real one, is it has a safety. I'm not even gonna use the damn thing. Safeties are lame. This is your safety, right, and your brain. So here's the red dye it comes with. And this is a SIG one too, it's called the SIG Air. Now I can't remember, oh, the package says the MOA size. Uh, where the hell did it go? God, I can't see it. Figures, I think it's like a, oh, there it is, three MOA. So it's a three MOA dot. And you turn it on by this button right in the front. Let me make sure it's on, okay. This way I can show you guys. So this would be my first airsoft with a red dot. That's freaking pretty cool. It almost co-witnesses, but not totally. This sticks in the way a little bit, but yeah, whatever. And you just hold the, whoops, hold the button to turn it off. Let me make sure I did that. Okay, I did turn it off. So yeah, close up view. The stippling is just like the real one. And one thing I thought was neat, it has the little M there for medium, because that's what all the the stock ones come with a medium grip. You can get large, you can get small. On my real gun, I put a small. There's your Picatinny rail there. Flat trigger, which I was never a fan of, but the more real guns I've got with the flat trigger, the more I like it. There's your mag release, slide release, slide catch, whatever you want to call it. Now it's a 21 round mag, and this is the green gas. And this is the same mag that goes in the standard 320. So I got two of these on order. They should be here pretty soon. I mean, just like the real one, you know? So freaking cool. I love these things for training and just for playing airsoft because airsoft's fun. And there's your takedown lever. You know what? I haven't taken this down yet. I literally just got it yesterday. I, and it was late at night, so I didn't get to do the review when I first got it. I wanted to, but as soon as I got home today from work, I'm like, oh man, I got to check this thing out a little bit more. Some front slide serrations, which is always neat. You got the back one. I mean, all the detail is like the freaking real one. Let me break out the real one. Now, this ain't called the X Carry either. This is the RXP X Compact, the real one. And the only other difference is I have a TLR 7A flashlight on it. And I'm not putting one on this because it's airsoft, and if it gets hit, I'll cry. So, I'm gonna take the cover off there. Bam. I mean, the dimensions are, I mean, even look at the back, the detail and shit. It is so freaking close. It's just cool. Uh, like I said, the Airsoft is a tiny bit longer, as you can see, 3.9 inch barrel. Now this has, like I said, it has the smaller grip. So it's a little bit shorter and a little bit thinner. If I get it about the same height, there you go. I mean, it's, it's awesome at how close these airsofts are to the real thing, you know what I'm saying? Just freaking awesome. It said, what, pound and a half? Let's check for sure, though. We got our crack cocaine scale. No, I'm just kidding. It's not for crack cocaine. All right, let's see, the airsoft. Now, it's gonna be, a TLR 7A is probably three ounces, two and a half, three, so it's something that, if that's the difference, that's awesome, because then it's the same weight as a real one. Okay, one pound, nine and a half ounces. So one nine and a half. 
This is one, 12.1, so nine and a half, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that's about it, three ounces. So the weight of it is like a real one. I love how they do that with the airsofts. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just more realistic training. And I know a lot of the weight is in here because that's like the weight of a full magazine. I mean, even the slide releases are the same and it is ambidextrous, just like the real one, which is cool. Like I said, it's just a dumb safety. It must be an airsoft thing. Hey, whatever. I'm not even gonna use the darn thing. So let's get the real one out of the way. And then you got your windage elevation for your red dot to adjust it. And you're up and down there. So yeah, man, I think this thing is gonna be awesome. I do have to, should I take it down right now? Oh man, I hope I get it together right. I'll be so pissed. Let's do it. It should be just like the real one, right? Uh, do I need the mag out? Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, you do that. Man, it's cool. Just like a real freaking gun. Oh, there's the hop up. Okay, that's how I adjust that. Now, the one thing I had a problem with that HK VP9 is it didn't like to go back together right. I had to fumble with it. I could get it, but then it wouldn't like function and stuff. Let's let's see how this one is. Let's pray. Mrs. Tax uh, PPQ, that thing was fine. Oh, that's nice. Oh man, it's just like the real one, yay! Okay, cool, happy. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go, there's a quick look at the SIG P320 X Carry. I'd shoot it, but it's like minus freaking three degrees out, and these ain't gonna work that good. But as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by, visiting your brother Tack, and until the next time we meet.